Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through the Fender Player Plus Stratocaster HSS in Mystic Jade. Look at this color, guys. I am a huge fan of all these shimmery, metallic, mystic colors that Fender's been putting out. I've got the Ampro 2 Jazzmaster in Mystic Surf Green. I think that's what they call the color, and it's just stunning. And this is no exception. Like, this just grabs your eye when it's in a room, when you're in a physical space with it. The way that the light bands and catches on the edges as it moves, it does things for me. It does things for me, that is for sure. And it looks like a candy apple Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it looks sweet, right? So anyways, what is the concept behind the Player Plus line from Fender? The way it was described to me by my Fender contact is that this is a made in Mexico take on the Fender Ultra Series. If you're not familiar with the Ultra Series, it's a very modern pushed version of Fender guitars that are made in America and much, much more expensive than this guitar. And this has a lot of the details that you find on the Ultra Series, but it doesn't have them all. Like it doesn't have the comfort heel and things like that, but it does have noiseless single coil pickups here. This one has a humbucker in the bridge. I really like that they're leaning into the wide range aesthetic for this humbucker. I think it's really fun. I don't know what the guts are like, but I will say that this whole set of pickups have really surprised me. I'm gonna have a whole rant later where I talk about, you know, my life experience with Mexican strats, but these pickups really surprised me as far as stock pickups in a Mexican strat. They're clear and bell-like, and they've got this really nice like note definition to them, and they've got plenty of kick to them. The humbucker does all the humbucking things that you expect it to. It's got this really nice kind of like high mid, high output push to it and it's got a coil cut right here and it sounds great when it's coil split it sounds like a legit bridge single coil pickup in a stratocaster meaning that it's very very bright and ice picky but in the way that you want a a strat bridge pickup to be let's get into what i think is the most important part and notable part of this guitar the neck i mean that's the most important part of every guitar really, but this is very different from most Mexican Strat necks in that it's a 12 inch radius. It's got medium jumbo frets, which is normal. Normal fret dressing on the edges that you would expect on a modern Mexican Strat. It's got 22 frets, one more fret, an extra fret compared to the Mexican Strat that I've been playing for 20 something years. <laughs> it's got rolled edges on the fretboard very comfortable feeling neck. Those rolled edges make it feel like it's already been broken in like 30, 40 years or something like that. It's honestly the same kind of fret edge roll that's on that Ampro 2 Jazzmaster that I have, which is a much higher end guitar. I think they're using the same machinery or process or jig to get that fret edge roll. I don't think they're using, you know, as fine a grit as sandpaper as they are on the Jazzmaster because it's a little bit more gritty. I did a side-by-side -side comparison earlier uh, off camera, obviously, and I was like, yeah, this one's just not quite as perfect as the Jazzmaster, which shouldn't be a surprise at a lower price point. Uh, you've got a synthetic bone nut up here. Locking tuners, another modern feature. They all have those shorter posts right here that give you a tighter break angle across the nut. What else? What else? Block saddles on the bridge and a great big block for the trim block back there. I actually had this open and uh, I was really impressed with the route. Maybe it's been too long since I had a newer Mexican Strat in my life, but I'm really impressed with all the little details here. Uh, the Mexican Strats of my youth the way they would finish them is the bodies would be routed before they painted them. And I don't know what was going on, but the routes would have all sorts of chunks of wood and lumps and stuff in them. And then it would look like they just dipped the body in paint. And so those routes would just have this lumpy, goopy looking paint inside of all the cavities. Not the case. Not the case with this guitar. So somewhere along the line, they've bumped up the quality of Mexican guitars across the board because I'm honestly like 
really impressed with the details here. All right, let's get into it. You guys want to hear it, right? <laughs> you don't want to hear me just flap my gums this whole video. So I'm going to play the guitar. I'm going to show off all the pickup settings with a few different kind of like tonal options. And then I don't know what I'm going to do past that. We'll figure something out, right? <laughs> all right. I'm on the neck pickup right now. I'll go through all the pickup positions clean and then I'll do an overdrive and then I'll do a distortion and a fuzz or something. And as a special treat, I've got my Fender Outboard Spring Reverb unit hooked up to one of my Princetons right now. And when I hit this switch, we'll do some drippy, drippy, surfy, springy stuff there. All right, this is the number four position. I'm going backwards. There's really no backwards or forwards, honestly. I just wanted to start with these noiseless single coils, which honestly, I think sound really great. Quick comparison, here's the neck. Here's the number four. It sounds like a strat to me. Back to the neck. Yeah. All right, here is the middle position. don't get enough love guys they don't get enough appreciation but they sound great you know what go home tell your middle pickups that you love them no idea where i was going with that one all right number two position this is with the humbucker coil split not coil tapped coil split you do get a bit of 60 cycle hum it's the name of the channel uh <laughs> with the humbucker split because it's not splitting into a noiseless single coil. So you get that hum, which I appreciate. I like having a little bit of hum every now and then. I like making some noise. I don't play electric guitar to be quiet. All right, now on to just that isolated bridge single coil sound. Bright, bright, percussive bright. Reverb time. sloppy but you can hear it it twangs man sloppy 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 today all right on to the humbucker oh, i guess i should do a little bit of a pretty plucky strummy stuff i was doing too All right, now the humbucker. Yeah, way more output. It's got that high mid push sort of thing going on. It's smokier and darker and thicker sounding. But 
it still has this really nice kind of like clarity to it. I don't know quite how to describe it outside of using the word clarity. So I'm going to use it a lot. Like the note definition, the note separation is really nice. I got two guitars on the same day, and this was one of them, and I was swapping them back and forth, playing with them, and I was like, man, this Strat, like its pickups are clear sounding, like high definition versus the other guitar, which I'm not gonna mention right now. I'm not gonna name names, <laughs> but it was humbuckers versus this humbucker. And it's like, man, this thing has some sparkle to it. There's another adjective I could use, some sparkle to it. Now, when I was first starting out, I was buying Mexican strats and stuff like that. And the first thing I would always do is swap out the pickups because back in those days, the late 90s, early 2000s, they came with these terrible, just terrible ceramic pickups that were bright in a bad way. They were like aggressively, irritatingly bright. So my first move was always to replace them with literally any other pickup. And I would find that I'd be happier. Like I'd replace them with other ceramic pickups and I'd be happier. But honestly, like I've spent about four or five days playing this guitar. I think these pickups are great. I honestly do. All right, let's throw some overdrive at it back to that neck pickup. position. with the humbucker fully engaged in the number two position. Sounds nice to me. Coil split. to the bridge pickup on the coil split. You can hear that hum more pronounced now. Bright, 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 really cuts through that. Which is what you want with a Strat bridge pickup. It's not a traditional wiring. You can control the tone of the bridge pickup with the pot here. It's the style of pots where you really don't get much going on until like the last 20%, which could be a flaw or a feature, depending on how you look at it. If you want a really smooth roll across the whole knob, then it's a flaw. But if you want to do stuff like this, kind of like hand manipulated wah stuff, Really quick and fluttery. Yeah. 
then it's a feature. All right, on to the humbucker sound. Here's the Strat single, just for a point of comparison. And here is the humbucker. Back to single. And back to humbucker. That's a Soundgarden song, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Soundgarden. All right, let's do some higher gain stuff here. I've got the Rev G4 down on the floor. to hamburger. Is it really a surprise? It's got a humbucker. It's got noiseless singles. It's gonna be fine with high gain stuff. You know, let's let's uh, go to those noiseless singles. There's a little bit of a noise. I think it's picking up some static in the room or something like that. But it's nothing compared to, I say, there it is. There's the split humbucker single coil setting compared to the neck pickup. There's a little bit of noise, but it's nothing compared to that. Asked me the other day, do you play music or you just noodle? <laughs> I think most of the time I just noodle, right guys? All right, I want to do more spring reverb. <laughs> about that that I like. Yeah. 
It has like a Terry and the Bunnies, sort of like Japanese edge to it. Ooh, I'm gonna have to come back to that. Here's a riff. Again, that middle pickup. We gotta give our middle pickups more love, guys. I mean, play something meaningful through them, please. <laughs> chord do you think is the right chord to end that James Bond riff? This one? Or this one? They're both right. One might be more wrong than the other though. I don't know. That split bridge humbucker, it does it, right? It's doing the surf thing just fine. I need to have that reverb unit ready to go because I'm having a ton of fun right now. Technically, this is a wet dry mix because it's the reverb unit into one of the Princetons and I'm running two Princetons right now. This is an all Fender video right now. Fender guitar, two Fender amps, and a Fender reverb unit. I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff on the pedal board that's not Fender, obviously. <laughs> You know, it's funny, uh, they sent me the sheet of all the guitars that I could pick from, from this line. And I debated really heavily in between the HSS and the more normal SSS. You'd think I would have gone with the all single coil version considering, you know, the stuff I like to do. But I thought, I've already got a normal Strat. This has that 12 inch radius. It's supposed to be more modern. I should probably go a more modern direction with it. And an HSS will cover a lot of ground for demos and stuff like that. And I just love this color. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling really good about my decision. Which one would you pick? Would you pick the HSS or the SSS? With all things considered, colors considered as well, because color is important. Finishes are important, guys. If you love the look of your guitar, you're bound to play it more often. So finishes do make a big difference. All right. 
let's get into some jeers now. I've done enough cheers. There's a couple little things that I would tweak, that I might tweak, you know, as modifications or something like that. First of all, I mean, this is a hugely common problem. People are going to trash me in the comments, at least a few are, because I'm even mentioning this. The bar is a little bit wiggly, not dramatically, but a little bit every single strat trim that isn't some sort of modern, you know, tighten it with an Allen key sort of thing or click into like rubber grommet sort of thing is gonna be a little bit wiggly. I fixed that personally with Teflon tape. I haven't done that yet. Also, I tend to prefer a longer, straighter trim bar. This is that shorter, dramatically curved, like I think it's like a Jimi Hendrix preference sort of thing. That's why they do that. That's why they provide it. But I like a really long kind of straight bar that goes out to here for my surfy stuff. Uh, my other big complaint, well, it's not really big, but it is my main complaint with this guitar is that this push pull is a little bit tricky. It's starting to loosen up a little bit. So maybe it just needs to be broken in, but there's not enough grip on this knob to get it every single time. And I find myself digging my fingernails down on the edge to pull it out. I wish they had done the push push option where you click it in and then click it back uh, like they did on the Jazz Master. So I might modify this with my own push push knob um, to get that functionality because I switch between the humbucker and the single like all the time, especially if I'm doing demos or especially playing live, honestly. I'm always jumping between humbuckers and singles when I'm playing live. So that's something I'm gonna do. Other than that, I'm very, very happy with this guitar. I'm very satisfied with it. Like I know this thing's gonna make it into a ton of videos. It's gonna be a workhorse for me. Um, I might put my other Strat out to pasture because it's pretty beat up. I have really put that thing through the meat grinder over the years. I've been thinking for a while that I need a fresh Strat in my life and I think this is it. I'm stoked guys. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon, buy a shirt, if you're naked, you could buy one like this. This is wiggle stick on it. And you know what? Some people, there's some people in this world that like to hang out with me and all the other regulars that do the premiere chats. If you wanna be one of those people, what you need to do is you need to go down to notifications to the bell. You click the bell and you set to all, you'll get notifications every time I launch a video and I do that premiere chat every single time I launch a video. And it's just a ton of fun to hang out. You can ask me questions, you can make fun of me, you can talk amongst yourselves. Uh, we often talk about, you know, things that have nothing to do with the video in those chats. They're a ton of fun. They're honestly the highlight of my day. They're my social reward for making these videos. So if you want in on that special club that some people like being part of, then maybe you'll be a some people too. All right, bye everyone, stay grounded. Thank you.